Hi everyone, I'm Nathan from Arms and & Armor, and I want to talk to you today about thrusting with our new Leeds Castle Sword, which is an Oakshot Type 18C longsword. Now these swords are well known for their cutting ability. Right? They have a broad, thin blade, but the points are very thin. Right? They have a really, really strong distal taper. Uh, so much so that uh, folks like Clive Thomas, who cataloged uh, these swords for the uh, uh, London Park Lane Arms Fair uh, in 2003 and 2018, uh, actually claims that they're, they're not good for thrusting uh, at all. So I'm just going to uh, quote from him here. He writes, The sections of these broader swords show that they could not have been intended for use against any kind of substantial armor. Although they have acute points, they are far too thin and flexible for thrusting and would probably only bend and cause little damage if the wielder attempted to pierce even light armor, such as the padded European gambeson or its Mamluk equivalent, the Quarqual." End quote. So we think that these are actually somewhat better for thrusting uh, than he suggested here. And today's video, uh, I use our prototype sword to thrust against a variety of targets. Now, the target of choice is a pumpkin, uh, but I use uh, part of a spess heavy gambeson uh, to uh, kind of be a simulation of a, a period gambeson. Now, this isn't made in exactly the same way, but it is a thick and durable piece of cloth armor that's intended for sword fighting uh, with blunt swords. Uh, so it should give us some sense of the ability of these swords uh, to thrust through this particular uh, uh, type of armor. All right, so I've got a pumpkin here, and on top of this pumpkin, we have the arm of my old Spess Heavy Gambeson. You can see because it says Nathan on it right there. All right, now I've got a piece of nice flat riveted uh, chain mail. Uh, on the pumpkin over the double layer thick arm of the spest. All right, now you can see this is the uh, Leeds Castle sword again, that obviously it stabbed through the gambeson like butter, but the chainmail totally foiled it, right? It barely penetrated, and although it bent uh, in the video when it encountered 
uh, the chain mail, you can see that it's still dead straight. There's no kind of damage uh, to it from being rammed against there. It is covered with pumpkin guts right now, so that's what's all over the blade. Right? But yeah, I think that was a pretty nifty exploration of uh, what this Arms and Armor Leeds Castle Sword uh, is capable of.